my wonderful reading friends, it's Ani. I'm so glad you came to read with me. If you want to read more stories with me, be sure to subscribe. And for shout outs, book reviews, and other content, follow me on social media. What will happen when two little brothers hear strange noises in the night? Could it be a monster? Is it a beast? Let's find out as we read the scariest story you've ever heard. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. The Scariest Story You've Ever Heard by Ron Karras Designed by Arthur Lynn Get ready for the scariest story you've ever heard. It's much too scary for pictures, so I plan to use words. Chills will be spreading from your head to your toes. Actually, I'm scared to begin, but here's how it goes. One dreary day in a house just like yours. Thunder was booming. And the rain did it pour. It was minutes till midnight when the power went out. The boys, they woke up with a scream and a shout. Ah! Ah! Lying in bed and certainly scared for what happened next, they were not prepared. First, there was a creak. <coughs> then there was a crack. What could it be? And would it attack? Their tiny hearts began to rapidly pump. But it only became worse when they heard thump, thump, thump. They cowered in fear and hid under their covers. The monster approaching could easily eat brothers. Was the next sound that he made? But the boys were confused as it started to fade. Even though the intruder went further away, this would not be the end of his haunting that day. He began to clang as he was stomping around. The boys heard a bang as something fell to the ground. <coughs> he yelled, this could not be good. For now the boys knew in the kitchen he stood. What was he looking for? Why was he furious? As scared as they were, they were also quite curious. Against better judgment, they got out of their beds. They stood at the door, blankets over their heads. First they heard... Followed by... The dog whimpered and barked. <coughs> Did he get eaten for lunch? Then for a moment, things were eerily silent. If they opened the door, would the beast become violent? The silence was broken by drip, drop, drip, drop. Drip. 
Was this just a nightmare? And when would it stop? The boys had enough. They knew hiding didn't matter. As they left their dark room, there was a shriek ah! and a splatter. They crept down the hall, preparing for doom, but were shocked and surprised as they entered the room. There he was, a spoon in his hand. This was not a horrible monster, but a familiar man. Dad? They cried. What on earth are you doing? Dad couldn't respond as he was fervently chewing. Their fear turned to laughter with the words that would follow. Dad took a drink and proceeded to swallow. I'm sorry I scared you. Things are not what they seem. It was all for a bowl of delicious ice cream. Were you wondering what all those sounds were? This page will tell you what each sound was. Today I want to send special thanks to my son Kyle for helping me with my book. Thank you for being such a great son and a great reader. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.